COVID-19 has wreaked havoc across the globe, whether it be through the rising numbers or the people who have died or the economic fallout of all of this, or just the media-induced paranoia. In that sense, we are all affected by the virus. But in all of this, as the world grapples with this pandemic, there is a notable resonance with the past. Uh, Muslims in the golden age of Islam, the Islamic golden age, were pioneers in the field of medical science. Some of the biggest discoveries and inventions have taken place in that period of the Islamic scientific revolution. So here are six Muslim inventions leading the fight against COVID-19. Six Muslim inventions leading the global fight against COVID-19. Number one, microbiology and the germ theory. The existence of unseen microbiological life was postulated in the Middle Ages by many Muslim scientists. The great Muslim physician Ibn Sina wrote in his book about his study of contagious diseases when he said that bodily secretion is contaminated by foul earthly bodies before contracting infections. Andalusian physician Ibn Khatima is credited to be the first to discover bacteria and microorganisms centuries before Leeuwenhoek, who in 1676 was ridiculed for his discovery of the microbial world using a single lens microscope of his own design. Remember, Ibn Khatima did this without a microscope. Ibn al-Khatib, another Andalusian polymath in the 14th century, explored the idea of transmission of disease through contagion centuries before Louis Pasteur conducted his experiments in Europe, again without a microscope. Ibn al-Khatib writes, the existence of contagion established by experience and trustworthy reports on transmission by garments, vessels, earrings, and by the spread of it by persons from one house, by infection of a healthy seaport, by an arrival from an infected land, and by the immunity of isolated individuals. Now this one is really interesting. Aksham Sedin, an influential Ottoman religious figure and a mystic saint, in the 15th century postulated the existence of microbes when he wrote, it is incorrect to assume that diseases appear one by one in humans. Disease infects by spreading from one person to another. This infection occurs through seeds that are so small that they cannot be seen but are alive. Number two, vaccinations and immunology. We've all been hearing a lot about vaccines recently, but let's talk about history. Did you know that in the various medical innovations introduced by Muslim physicians included are the discovery of the immune system and vaccinations? Al-Razi distinguished smallpox from measles for the first time in medical history. He went on to write the first recorded theory of acquired immunity, noting that a smallpox bout protected its survivor from fu future infections. The practice of inoculation against smallpox became widespread in the Muslim world, especially we're talking about the Ottoman era. It was Lady Montagu, who was the wife of an English ambassador in Istanbul, who introduced Europe to the modern concept of vaccination as it was practiced in the Ottoman Empire. Muslims were experts in preventive medicine that concentrated more on prevention and strengthening the inbuilt immune system to combat disease. One of Ibn Khatima's insights was that diet and the strength of the body's resistance play a role in how severe the impact of the disease is and how quickly a patient will respond to treatment. Now here's a fun fact. Sultan Abdul Hamid II and the Pasteur Institute. Did you know that the Ottoman Khalifa, Sultan Abdul Hamid II, funded the famous Pasteur Institute of the famous microbiologist Louis Pasteur in France for research on vaccinations? 
In the 18th century, when Europeans in North America were distributing smallpox infected blankets to innocent Native Americans, this being a recorded account of bioterrorism or biological warfare, Muslims in the Ottoman Empire had already developed a vaccine against smallpox. Number three, quarantine and travel bans. While Islam is essentially a spiritual, religious tradition, it emphasizes on the potency of physical causes and importance of taking physical means. While in the European world, sacrifices, magic, religious ceremonies were performed and miracles were expected from saints, Muslims followed the Prophet Wasallam's instructions when he said, if you hear of an epidemic in a land, then do not go into it. If it happens in the area where you are, then do not go out of it. Number four, hospitals. One of the greatest achievements of Islam and its significant contributions to the modern world is the hospital. While other civilizations had healthcare centers, the institution of a hospital is an invention of the Islamic civilization. Did you know that the first hospital in Islam was the mobile hospital located in a tent during the Battle of Khandak, set up by the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ himself? Quickly, the idea of mobile hospitals evolved into fully functional hospitals in all big cities of the Muslim world. Between the 9th and the 13th centuries, five hospitals were built in Baghdad, Damascus, Cairo, Ray, Mecca and Medina. These were called Bimaristans. Resembling the modern hospital complex, these Bimaristans were the first to require medical diplomas to license doctors, had separate wards for different diseases, a library of pharmacy, and even a laboratory. Every department had an officer in charge and a supervising specialist. By the 10th century, laws were passed to keep the hospitals open 24 hours a day, and Baghdad was also known to have a separate hospital for convicts. The concept of a hospital, then, as a secular, public institution inspired Europe and eventually became a global necessity as it is today. It was as late as the 13th century that Europe finally began to adopt the Islamic hospital, the Bimaristan. Number five, soap. Did you know that hard soaps were a Muslim invention? In the Muslim world, soap making was an established industry. Recipes for soap making are found in Razi's books and also in Syria, soap production was a thriving industry where alkali, the Arabic term for alkali, was mixed with olive oil and lime. Coloured and scented soaps were imported from Syrian cities to the rest of the Muslim world and eventually introduced into Europe. Number six, disinfectant alcohol. While the consumption of alcohol is prohibited in Islam, Muslim scientists were the first to realize the medical properties of alcohol. Muslims developed chemistry and perfected the process of distillation. The word alcohol like alkali is also of Arabic origin. Arazi was the first to introduce what we today know as rubbing alcohol. This is used all over the world as a disinfectant and an important weapon today in the global fight against COVID-19.